Lord gave me a prophetic word for you for the title of our message. When I say prophetic word for you, the title, there is a way out. If there is a way out, you need to be positioned. Because Blanc Batmeo was positioned where Jesus had his cry. Hannah was positioned where God Almighty had a lamentation. You need to be positioned. While you are sitting down, continue to say, Jesus, position me. Position me. Position me. Where you will hear my petition. Right now, begin to say to Jesus, position me, Lord. Viewers all over the world, listen, ask Jesus to position you. If you are positioned, leave it for God. Position me. Position me. Where I will attract your attention. My cry will attract your attention. My complaint will attract your attention. My meditation will attract your attention. My lamentation will attract your attention. My looking will attract your attention. My silence will attract your attention. Position me, Lord. Rise up and say, position me, Lord. Position me, Señor. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. You have many different prayer points that the Lord has put in your heart. Whatever come out of your lips today, as it should be by divine way. I want you to pick your prayer point and fire on right now. Fire on. Fire on. Fire on. Elija su punto de oración y entre en fuego en esa oración. Ore. Priez, demandez au Seigneur de vous positionner dans une position où il va attirer son attention à votre prière. Priez. In Jesus' name we pray. Satan is a liar. Right now, take back your circumstances from the hands of the devil. Instead of saying, it's uh, witches and wizards that do this. No, 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 I don't believe that. A nightmare. It's a generational causes. Uh, I'm buried. My sister is buried too. It's in our family. The cause is Satan. No, 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 no. We are not here for that. See, right now, take back your circumstances from the hands of who? Póngase fuera de las manos de sus circunstancias de Satanás. Ponga todo el pasado atrás. When you take back your circumstances from the hands of Satan, there's a way out. Say, there is a way out. There is a way out. There is a way out. Hay una salida. You may be seated. You may be seated. Have you taken back your circumstances from the hands of the devil? Your situation. You have taken it back from the hands of Satan. From the hands of the devil. Yeah. Yeah. The situation is under control. We are not here to glorify anyone but Jesus Christ. Are you with me? Your prayers, many years, are not lost. I know that more than half of population here, they are from other living churches. 
your prayer life from your churches are not lost at all. Yeah. You are here to receive. Yeah. As you are sitting down, something is going on. The Holy Spirit has injected you. Yeah. I say you are injected. Yeah. I say you are injected. Están inyectados. The way out has come. The way out has come. Place your hand wherever you have that affliction. Place your hand. I will speak and God will make it happen. I say I will speak. The Lord will make it happen. When I speak, say make it happen. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Hallelujah. I cannot wait. I can see you being delivered. I would mean. I can see you being delivered. I can see you be delivered. Can you hear me? I can see you be delivered. I can see you. Please, please, fire, 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 fire. Hallelujah. Place your hand. Those of you that have fibro, you have delayed pregnancy, clock and spam, whatever is your trouble, I can see it happen. I can see you be delivered. I can see you be delivered. Fire on, fire on. Fire on, fire on. Usted ve la pantalla, ve lo que está aconteciendo en este momento en la congregación después del punto de oración del profeta TV Josh. Observe la pantalla. Watch your screen. Watch your screen and see what is happening everywhere in the auditorium right now. And outside the auditorium, it is happening. See people coming out to vomit blood substances or the poison in their system. For so many years, look at people coming out in their numbers vomiting them out right now. Let us continue to watch our screen as we pray. Esto es lo que está sucediendo en este gran evento de fruto de vientre en donde cada persona está secando de su cuerpo esa sustancia venenosa que ha tenido durante años. Observe la pantalla, mujeres, hombres que están expulsando ese veneno durante años. Observe la pantalla. Those of you that are outside, the law is aware you are outside there. Those of you that are outside there, right now, place your hand. Viewers, all over the world. Viewers, all over the world. Where can you go from this person? Open your lips. Fire on. People are coming out to urinate to vomit out all the problems in their life. Continue to watch your screen. Substances of different colors is what they are vomiting out. Those are the poison that have been in their system for so long. This is your day of deliverance. Begin to receive your deliverance. Deliverance from fibro. Deliverance from fibro. From barrenness. From barrenness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are watching the overflow of crowds outside the church auditorium. 
This is a section of the overflow crowd outside the church that came for the 2009 Fruit of the Womb meeting. They are joining Prophet T.B. Joshua and the congregation in prayer, believing distance is not a barrier for the Holy Spirit. As the prayer continued, people fell under the anointing of God and the problems in their lives were cast out. Prophet T.B. Joshua went to the midst of the overflow crowd and the mighty power of God continued to flow in the lives of the people, setting them free from their affliction. Many vomited, sweating or passing poison substances out of their bodies. The lightning of God flashed from place to place all over synagogue, church of all nations ground as the anointing of God fought against the power of darkness to bring about healing, deliverance, and the long-awaited blessing they have been seeking for. <laughs> More people continue to pass out what is not planted by Jesus in their systems as the Holy Spirit walked among them, uprooting what was not of God and replacing it with what is of Jesus, as far as the eyes can see. People are in attitude of prayer with a firm confidence that the way out for their lives had come. Prophet T.B. Joshua went to every section of the overflow crowd, stretching his hand, strengthening their faith, and joining them in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Isaiah 53 verse 5, By his wounds we are healed. The price has been paid for the blessing they seek, and it is offered freely. The man of God continues to move around the entire premises, stretching forth his right hand in prayer to declare freedom in the name of Jesus Christ over all those who had come. He then proceeded back into the auditorium. Whatever the cause of barrenness, whatever the cause of unfruitfulness, that the Lord should remove it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are now back inside the church. Manténgase pendiente. Le recordamos que estamos transmitiendo en vivo y en directo desde la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, en donde en este masivo evento de fruto de vientre, en donde hombres y mujeres vienen con esa esperanza. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm very close. I'm very close. In the name of Jesus, you are declared free today. Be declared free in the name of Jesus. Be declared free. Be declared free in the name of Jesus. Free. 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 Be delivered. The healing has come. Prophet T.B. Joshua prays over a section of women who have complications in their pregnancies before walking among the congregation to touch and pray for them one on one in the name of Jesus Christ. As the prophet touches them in the name of Jesus, you can see instant reactions, many shaking and crying out loud as they fall under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The presence of God is irresistible. In the name of Jesus. That is a problem in her life. It is gone. In the name of Jesus. Libre de toda fibroide. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesucristo. And allow the Spirit of God to touch us today. The touch that will bring about the difference in our lives. Continue to watch your screen. And it's still happening live and direct. The man of God is moving in the midst of the people. I brought this here because of you people. Because I know I will not be able to go around. That is why I brought it here. This is Mount 2. The apron Paul Apostle used. Watch, 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 your screen. Make it happen. watch the reaction of this woman. The man of God placed the anointed mantle on the body of this woman and prayed, make it happen. Immediately, the lady sensed the change and checking herself, reveals a fibroid has come out of her body after being touched by the anointed mantle. 
you can see the medical report she has, which diagnosed the problem of uterine fibroids. Let's listen to her testimony. My name is Toyo Faith. I'm from Enugu State. I came in here with the problem of uterine fibroid. I was booked for an operation at St. Louis Hospital. So I ran down to Synagogue Church of All Nations. The moment the man of God prayed for me, touched me with a mantle, I delivered my fibroid. Praise the Lord! Emmanuel! Having delivered her fibroid life in the congregation after being touched by the mantle, Mrs. Toya Faith was taken to the ladies' room to remove the rest of the fibroid. We all read about Paul Apostle. This is apron. You read so much in the Bible. I'm going to release it. You hold it. Pray. I want to release it now. And I will drop it here. Just touch it. And now begin to pray while you are standing. Don't hold it long. Just a touch. A touch and release it. Come on. Vous l'avez entendu de l'homme de Dieu? Watch the screen. Okay, Down she goes. Right, so pick it. Please, you, just you, a you. touch. Just a touch. Begin to pray. As people are touching the mantle, see what is happening? You see them falling under the anointing? See what is happening? Keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying. Let us continue to pray. Continue to watch your screen. See what is happening? Watch, watch. See that you man see? on the floor? Watch your screen. See what is happening. When the mantle had been passed to those on the altar, Prophet T.B. Joshua retrieved the mantle and began to touch the pulpit with it. Taking the mantle in his hand, Prophet T.B. Joshua then ascended to the top of the altar. Watch your screen. Watch your screen. We shall receive a full dose of that anointing today. The man of God has gone on the top of the altar, wiping the pulpits right now with a mantle. Right now, let us be prepared with faith as you touch the mantle. Barrenness will be gone. Barrenness will be gone. Just be prepared. Be prepared right now. Just a touch is enough. Pouvoir augmenter cette onction. You can see the man of God right there continuing to wipe the Bible and the items on the altar. This mantle is all you need. Just a touch is enough to change your problem into solution, your barrenness into fruitfulness. Estamos viendo al profeta Tibi Joshua limpiando con el manto ungido el altar para tener más unción que al momento que usted lo toque va a ser liberado de todos sus problemas. Observe. Let us get ready. Let us get ready. Today is the day. Let us get ready. Watch your screen. Who is there that believes his problem will not be solved today? When I told you that I can see you being saved, I said, I can see you being delivered. This must come to pass. Look, I can see you being delivered. This mantle, what you read in the Bible, is not about the truth. Everyone that turned the man to apron or Paul were delivered. <laughs> watch, 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 watch your screen. Watch your screen. It's for you for a touch. Okay, brother. Watch your screen. The stranger in your life now begin to come out. Begin to come out. If you are pressed, go to toilet. See what is I'm happening? I'm telling you, you are free now. See what is happening? People trembled and fell as the power of God set them free after just a touch of the anointed mantle.
As it was in the days of Apostle Paul, so it is today. Everyone was delivered in the name of Jesus Christ, and their problems became a thing of the past. To God be the glory. People are touching it, see them falling under the anointing, and the problem of barrenness, infertility, becomes a thing of the past immediately. Continue to watch your screen. Those of you that have touched, begin to pray because your body is not a house of fibro. It's not a house of sickness. Watch the screen of a television set and see what is happening. Immediately that woman hold the mantle. You can see what happened to her. Watch the screen. That is another woman passing out her fibroids. This is happening live and direct. It is happening right now. The man of God has said, immediately you touch the mantle, run to the ladies and deliver your fibroid. My name is Mrs. Tina Okafo. The problem that brought me here is multiple fibroid and barrenness for a long time. The doctor told me that I would do operation. Immediately, I touched the, the, the mouth. The fibroid just come out. So no more, no more fibroid, no more badness, no more oppression. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel. Fibro! Whatever disease, I can hear you. Whatever disease, in the name of Jesus, I want you to begin to declare them one thing right now. Watch your screen. There's a fibroid that has just dropped from that woman. She's in the ladies right now. Look, the apron you have touched already has put everything down. Yeah. Now, is it that you get home and go to the toilet, you find it drop. Or tomorrow morning when you are sleeping, you start having stomach running. Yeah. Or tomorrow evening, but all I know. Yeah. Viewers all over the world, This is apron that has been affected by the Holy Spirit. Touch it and be healed. Yeah. Touch it and be delivered. Yeah. Touch it and be saved. Yeah. Touch it and be redeemed. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Breakthrough. Yeah. Breakthrough. Yeah. Breakthrough. Yeah. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Can you tell us what was the cause of this many years of barrenness, of unfruitfulness in your lives before you, you met our Lord Jesus Christ? Our names are Mr. and Mrs. Shedra Kanyisiri from Wari Delta State. We were here last year, December 5th, 2008, Fruit of the Womb service. And before we came, we've been experiencing pregnancy delay of three years after we did CS on our first baby. After then, we've been hoping for baby for pregnancy is not yet forthcoming, though the operation was somehow critical then. So we became troubled that maybe as a result of the operation then, maybe things went wrong. So my wife started even questioning me, is there anything that doctor says that, that I'm keeping secret to her? Why things are delayed? Why things are this? Sometimes we went back to doctors and consult and we did other tests that we are all right. But what is the problem? So we keep holding on to God. We further seek for help. So when we came, my, my wife even first of all got the information of this program. My wife was stirred up. He said, this is where we must go. So when I came, I said, wow, the service was really hot. The power was so strong. When man of God prayed, and we hold on to that, that as we come, we are blessed. 
And during the course of the prayer, I make up my mind, I say, God, as I came to this place, I'm going home with my baby. And I'm going home with a baby boy. And I will come back to, to dedicate him, and I will give his name, Emmanuel. So when we get home after the program, I met with my wife, as husband and wife. Before January, signs are coming and changing things. What is happening? I know that his word stands sure. I tell my wife to behold still, God has done it. He said, but, but, I said, not he but, just wait. By four months, we went for test, pregnancy. Today, we are here with our baby boy, Emmanuel. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. My name is uh, Mrs. Esther Insiri. My baby's name is Emmanuel. We are here for the fruit of the womb, as you are here today. <laughs> My case, the daughter said, there is no way for me to be pregnant again. All the daughter in worry, most of them know me. Anytime I go to their office, they will say, ah, Mrs. Shedrack, you are here again. <laughs> when I heard about the fruit of the womb program, I called my husband, I said, ah, this program must be here. This is my last bus stop. As you are here, this is your last bus stop. <laughs> because it's the arena of solution. It's the arena of liberty. As we are here, man of God said we should place our hands in whatever. So I placed my hands. You told me, that womb, you must come back. With that womb, I must carry this pregnancy. You know, I for me, you no, know, I bring some substance. After we, we met as husband and wife, ah, January, I feel funny. I say, ah, because I remember when the daughter said it's 50 50 for me to be pregnant. Because every daughter said, ah, Mrs. Shedra, there is no way for you to be pregnant. One day I called my husband. I said, Oni, are you sure that I'm not going to be pregnant again? My husband said, no. I said, tell me the truth. Anytime I see pregnant woman, I will be crying. Anytime I see little baby, I will be crying. In the night, when people are sleeping, I will be crying. Ah. When I carried the baby in my womb, I said, daughter, this is the baby, oh. You said I cannot be pregnant, oh. But now nah, look at the baby. Anytime I'm, I'm taking my bath, I'll say, sure. so is the baby that is inside this womb? <laughs> I said, okay, let me wait and see. Four months, five months, six months. I said, eh? I went to the scan. The doctor said, I said, tell me the sex. He said, it's a bath. I said, no. I said, are you sure that his baby is inside? He said, yes. Okay. I said, let me see. 